everyone. I am on the way to the solo exhibition of Mr. Lee Chuni at the Alison Gallery Central and I'm looking forward to chat quickly with the artist about his inspiration, about his poetic ideas and very unique uh, technique which he developed himself. So stay with me. This is my uh, first solo exhibition in Hong Kong since 2000 and um, um, it showcased the paintings that I have done uh, in the last five years. Mm -hmm. For example, this painting I did last year uh, is a, a painting of a, a kind of a tree uh, which it's grown uh, on the high mountains in Taiwan. I use it to symbolize the Chinese culture or China as a nation with very long tradition, like the roots. And um, uh, now um, it kind of de developed uh, differently. Some parts of the tree uh, growing very well, while the other part is um, uh, um, dying, uh -huh. just yeah. to symbolize the situation mm -hmm. uh, between mm -hmm. different parts of uh, mm -hmm. China. Yeah, I invented my own painting tour. I use uh, a tour uh, like a traditional Chinese uh, sill, uh, and then um, I was inspired by the traditional uh, Chinese ink rubbing technique. So I used the tour to transfer the ink onto the paper uh, using similar ink rubbing technique. Oh wow, maybe you can come a bit closer. So how, how do you do the grid and what is the reason you decide to uh, put, put this grid uh, from the beginning? Uh, because traditional Chinese like Han Dynasty are uh, stylists. Um, there are characters carved on the stone tablets and before carving the characters, usually um, the carver they just draw some uh, lines in order to uh, carve the characters in uh, good order. So that format, that great format, inspired me to do my painting. Wow. Are you signing all your paintings? Is, can we find your corner, name? of the painting like this one. I sign it on the lower left. Oh yes, now I can see that. Uh -huh. My name and the year. So I can see that the, the grid now, it's it has a bit different technique than the, yes, the usual the paper, one. Yes, uh, was handmade. I use a mold and then um, paper casting technique yeah, to uh, make the paper. It's a reflection on the consumerism yeah, that we um, are facing today, especially in cities like uh, Hong Kong or Taipei, where I'm now living. Mm -hmm. And the title of the painting is called the uh, flowery world, yeah, that refers to a traditional Chinese saying, Hua Hua Si Jie, which refers to um, the colorful world, yeah, using uh, flowers as symbols. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. but instead of uh, different uh, um, uh, colors uh, that are um, shown on the flowers, I use just uh, monochrome ink. Ah. Yeah, because colors attract people a lot. Yeah, but we need to look beyond the color to try to find the essence of um, of the life. But about the idea for yes, for this piece. Yes, rock is a traditional subject matter in China, especially for the literary artists, yeah, because they appreciate uh, the forms of uh, strange rocks. But this rock, the shape, um, is, uh, um, of course, you cannot find in the real world. 
yeah, I just made it up. And the shape you can see uh, refers to uh, mainland China and Taiwan. And I created a, a, a rock like an alien monster. Um, it, it is, is, it is grasping uh, Taiwan and trying to put it uh, in its mouth. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I can <laughs> that see is the that fear the Taiwanese people are now feeling. Yeah, the pressure uh, from mainland China. Because mm -hmm. yeah. you, you're also based right now in Taiwan. Yes, yes, I'm now um, teaching mm -hmm. at a university in Taipei. Mm -hmm. you know, I have my studio in Taipei. Perfect, and we are so happy to see your work in Hong Kong. So thank you so much for the uh, quick conversation. Thank you. And see you soon. Yes, yeah, see you. And hello again. I hope you enjoy the quick review and talk with Mr. Lee. Uh, the exhibition will be open until the 9th of January 2020. So remember to visit and if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment. Thank you so much. Bye.